I'm going to show you how to make Korean vegan bulgogi. It is so much flavor and actually a lot simple to make. Let's get started. First, I'm going to heat my skillet over medium high heat. Let's cut up tofu. I already wrapped it up in the paper towel and get rid of excess water so they will brown up more easily. And what you want to do is cut in half like this. Then slice it to about half inch wide. We want to make a little small cubes. Add a little oil into the skillet. About two to three tablespoons, so tofu will be fried up. Because we are going to uh, add mushroom later on too, and mushroom will suck it up a lot of oil, so you want plenty of oil. So let's add tofu in it. Like you wanna make sure using extra firm to firm tofu, so that way you don't have to worry about tofu is breaking down on you. And just evenly spread out one layer. Next one little beach mushrooms. And when you pronounce mushroom, these beach mushrooms, be careful. It can be totally different meat, you know. So cut the edge off. Like that. And just breaking down little pieces so they can be little individual mushrooms like this. And let's make a sauce. In a mixing bowl, let's add soy sauce cannot be missed when we're making bulgogi, right? And vegan bulgogi is honestly so much easier and less ingredients make it at home because um, we don't need like a meat tenderizer thing, kind of like onion or pear stuff. It's a lot less work too. And this is agave nectar for little sweetness. And I add chopped garlic. Got to have garlic and some sesame oil. Amazing nutty flavor. Some black peppers. A little pinch of sesame seed. But I'm not gonna put in a hole. Actually, I'm gonna put on my palm like this and break down like this. So actually, the flavor and the oil even more like pump up, like extremely nutty. That looks good. Mix it real quick. It seems like my tooth is doing really well. I'm gonna flip them over. You wanna um, brown up all sides, all the four sides of the cube. Now I'm going to add those mushrooms because we want the mushrooms to be browned up as well. Uh, you don't wanna add any salt in here because as soon as you add the salt, the tofu and the mushroom will get watery. So make sure to not add any salt in here. Some science is too, you know. Cooking is science. All right. So let them cook about a couple more minutes and not keep stirring so because you want little brown bits on the bottom. All right, meanwhile, the tofu and mushroom is cooking. I'm going to slice. Uh, Okay, why not? Three, three green onions. Cut the root part off. Cut it half. And then just chop it away. And they are doing amazing. Looking good. All right, stir one more time. Oh yeah. Look at that, even mushroom turning into nice golden brown. And you know, whenever tofu fried like this, they are super, crisp, super crispy outside but then still really soft and silky inside. They are just one of the amazing things when you fry it. The texture is just to die for. Right now, I'm going to pour the sauce we made earlier. Every little drop of it, okay? Don't miss anything. Ooh! Nice! And make sure you coat it everything. And I'm gonna reduce down the heat to medium low. Who needs a Korean restaurant when you cook like this at home? All right. See, you don't um, you don't see any moisture on the bottom of the pan. Now I'm gonna turn off the heat and let's add all this green onion. Maybe leave a little bit for garnish. 
I just add most of it in there. Stir one more time. I have a warm cooked rice right here. And just top it with this delicious vegan bulgogi. And if you don't like mushroom, actually you can use just more tofu instead of mushrooms. Top it with a little more green onion right on top. And some sesame seeds. Ta-da! How easy was that, right? So simple, delicious, flavorful. Mm, 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 mm. I love the texture of tofu when they, they fried and they soak it up with the sauce. Mm. Who said tofu doesn't have any flavor? When you cook like this, mm -mm, you're wrong. <laughs> 